This week on Undercover Ball, Central's own Panther Perk CEO, Kyle Verone, goes undercover to see what it's really like to work at the Perk. I'm Kyle Verone. I'm the CEO of the Panther Perk, and this is my first year here. Being CEO, I'm really not in here as much as I would like to be. I really want to see how my employees work down at our lowest level and how the business operates when I'm not there. Supervise how it happens and hopefully they won't recognize who I actually am. So Undercover Boss, they've got the best makeup artist on this. From now on, I'll be known as Kyler while I'm undercover. We're getting a new employee today at the Perk here. Uh, he's a senior at the high school. Uh, we could really use his extra help around here. I'm, I'm really excited to meet him. Hey, I'm Kyler, I'm the new employee. Oh, nice, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Um, so you got hired on as a barista, right? I believe so. Oh, okay. So uh, you want to come around here and I'll show you how to work at the coffee machines over here. Cool. This is Jonah. He's our stock oh, boy. This is Kyler, the new employee. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. I don't know, man. There's just something about this new employee, Kyler. He's, he seems really familiar to me. All right, so I'm just gonna walk you through the steps of how to make some coffee. You're gonna take this bad boy off. You're gonna get yourself a filter, okay? Put that on there. Get some of this, put her in. Press the button, and then you're off, you're off to the races. Right. When Ben left me alone, I, I really didn't know what I was supposed to do. Basis. That was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Hey, Kyler, can I speak to you in the back? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I just don't think you're working out here in the front, so we're just going to transfer, transfer you back to the stock room there. And Kyle just really wasn't working out working out up here in the front. Um, he just wasn't operating quick enough, so I had to send him back to the stock room with Jonah. Okay, Kyle, literally the only thing you have to do is you're going to put these packets in this box and, you know, and that's all there is to it, Kyle. I have to go on break now, so good luck. After another unsuccessful attempt at working, Kyler sat down with Ben on his break to talk heart to heart. Yeah, so it, man, it's just really hard to juggle all the things like working here and high school. It's just, it's really a lot. Ben, you've really touched me with this story and I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm actually Kyle, CEO here. Oh, oh my gosh. Man, I just did not know that Kyler was actually Kyle. It really just got me by surprise. I can really sympathize you and what you're going through. Thank you. Thank you for telling me your story. Yeah, I had no idea it was you. It really amazes me how Joan and Ben just do what they do all the time. Just shows that they're dedicated and they really enjoy working here at the Panther Perk. I really just appreciate Kyle coming in and 
seeing how his business is operated really shows that he cares. Uh, really glad I decided to do Undercover Boss. Really showed me how my business operates at the lowest level and just gives me that sense of confidence about the Panther Perk. I thank Undercover Boss for that. My name's Reese, and uh, I fill up my water bottle at the water fountain. I started filling my water bottle at the water fountain in about ninth grade. It was morning time, and I would always feel thirsty. And no matter how many times I put my mouth up to the water that came out of that water fountain, it was never enough. That's when I discovered water bottles. People are always discriminating against me, what I do. When I would stand at the water fountain and fill my water bottle, people would just get angry at me. They would say, hurry up, you loser, and they hurry up, I'm thirsty. And I'd be like, no, I have to fill my water bottle. Where else am I going to fill up my water bottle? The sink? No. The water fountain is my home. Don't change yourself for anyone else because people don't like you. If you want to fill your water bottle up with the water fountain, do so. Do it for humanity. So we're hallway stoppers. We like to stop in the middle of the hallway when it's crowded. Um, we've basically been doing this for a really long time and we're proud of it. We've started this in like what? I think it was middle school. That's yeah. how we met actually. Yeah. I was just standing in the hallway. And, and then, then I decided to stop too and we just started talking. We, and yeah, it was great. And, and we, we got into our style. conversations. Yeah, most of our deepest talks have been Honestly, in the hallway. Honestly, friendships are formed from this. Right. Because it's just what people are trying to get through and you just want to have your right to assemble, yeah. you know? Stand stoic like an eagle on its perch and it's just really That's basically it's, all of it. It's just really important. Yeah. Oh we God. have to say to Central. What? Say hi to Central. Oh yeah. I'm wearing this. Yo love. Yeah, did you just see how he answered the phone? Yeah, he said uh yellow. And no one does that anymore. That's like 1990s. What are you talking about? No one answers the phone by saying hello anymore. I, I answer it with hello. I don't like hey. all the time. You say hello. No, I'm, I'm always like, oh look at that, John, John called me. Yellow. No, you don't. You say hello. Uh -huh. Dude, no one does that. My mom doesn't do it. Like, oh, I'll call her right now. Go for it. Everybody does it. I, I'm telling you, everybody says yellow. It's kind of weird you don't. I mean... Yellow? Mom, what did you say? What? I just said hello. Why are you saying it? Like, why are you saying hello? Mom, that's not how you answer a phone. How else would I answer it? Like, I know. You know I'll call you back. I I'm being super admin right now. Everybody says yellow. Dude, I know for a fact not everyone says yellow. I don't I don't say it. You know, you know what? Call me. Call me right now. Call my phone. Okay. I'm gonna call you right now. Okay? Alright, I, 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 I promise you, it won't happen. Yellow. Sorry about um that last sketch. Kind of last minute thing. We let that happen. Sorry. <laughs> We've been dating since like third period. Like, I'm so excited that I'm with you. Like, oh my god. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> we had lunch together and we have like so many dates. And tonight after school, we're gonna go and ride go karts and like do bumper cars and stuff, it's gonna be so much fun, like... That sounds great! Yeah!
So he's been my boyfriend for like two weeks now and he asked me to homecoming with like a poster and I was like lol goals and like we're totally in love <laughs> together forever I'm his bae so yeah things are really good right yeah yeah um we've been dating since um what was it like it's gonna be our third period anniversary coming up. I know, we've been dating for two periods. It's great. It's, it's been such a crazy ride with ups and downs and corkscrews. Like, honestly, I don't know where I would be I know. without you in my life. We've been through hell and back. So, me and my boyfriend just broke up after two weeks. He wouldn't go to flex with me. So this is broke. Hi, I'm Steven Clausen here at Springsbury Park on a Wednesday night. Today is July 1st. We've got the Sounds of Summer over there, and we've got uh, youth basketball over here. And there's, there's also a playground. By this tree. The concert is so great that you should come and see the concert live. Me as a musician, um, 12 years ago, I really sung and I really enjoyed it. You should come down to Springersbury Park. Let us go. Ultimate Frisbee. Here play. we go. And then we line up here. How do you think Steven is as a training partner? He's really good. He's um one of the professionals, okay, one of the best I've ever another, met. We're gonna here. get another angle. So let's say you're the opponent and you're coming at me. festival went today? Oh, I thought it was a wonderful experience. It's great to be here to perform for all you guys. This is one of my favorite shows that we get to do all year. The people are so responsive and we got to thank a lot of veterans today, which is Recreation's main mission is to thank them. So it was great to be able to shake their hands and thank them for their service. Okay. Um, how busy is your schedule and like how many shows are you going on? We do 325 shows a year. We get about five days off Thanksgiving, maybe 10 at Christmas. Otherwise, we're on the road. We go to all 50 states to every VA medical center and state veterans home in the country. All right. Thank you. Thought you played well today. Thank you very much, sir. Yep. So are you enjoying off the clock so far? Yeah, I guess. All right. Today on Pin It to Win It, expert pinner Allison Rambler faces off against novice Kellen Beck. Allison is an expert pinner from Toronto, Canada. She's hot off a streak of great pins, including galaxy jars, decorative soda bottles, and her most popular pin with 80,000 repins, 28 ways you didn't know to use an empty toilet paper roll. Kellen is a Pinterest novice from York, Pennsylvania. New to the game, he's eager to prove himself and make his mark on this Pinteresting world. As always, I'm your host, Sarah Crawford, and this is Pin It to Win It. Pinners at this time, please make your way to the front. Hello, pinners, and welcome to Pin It to Win It. Today, you'll be making one of the toughest DIY projects in Pinterest history the dreaded. Homemade flubber. <gasps> when Sarah told me the challenge was homemade flubber, I have to admit I was a little nervous. 
But then I remembered, wait, I'm great at this. So I trust my experience will see me through. What the heck is flubber? Pinners, you have your task and your ingredients. There are five minutes on the clock. On your mark, get set, crap! Get out of my way, get out of my way! Go, 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 go! All right, fun, fun, so, fun. So take this, and then I go, and then I... Now, I haven't pinned or crafted a lot in my day. I mean, my crafting experience, the most experience that I have in crafting is like making one of those pine cone bird feeders and elementary school with the, the peanut butter and see, you know, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, even though I don't have much experience, I'm 10,000% sure that I'm going to destroy Allison in this competition. No, it's clumping, it's clumping. I'm running out of time, running out of time. Oh my gosh, we was not the right consistency. I would say that my mixing technique is uh, deliberate. It's, uh, I use my right hand, my dominant hand, and you know, I go to the left, and then I go to the right, and I mix it all around. It's, it's a process. When it comes to mixing, I take more of an aggressive technique. Most people say, Kellen, you don't know what you're doing, but I prefer to say that they don't know what I'm doing. There it is. There. So, Alex, do you want to tell me what you're doing here? Uh, yeah, I just uh, got some hot water, got some cold water, I got some borax, and actually, I have special ingredients. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Fatal mistake, Allison. <gasps> oh, it's on the ground! I was in the groove, I had all my ingredients mixed, everything was going great, and then... A fatal mistake. I, I drop, I drop my glue, and it's just, I didn't know if I was going to be able to go on because it's such a rookie mistake. And I just can we please? I I just can't afford to be sent home right now. <laughs> Make it work. Make it work, what? Allison. We only have like less than Make nine. It oh, work. Okay, okay. Interesting technique, Kellen. I forgot the food coloring. All right. You just gotta handle it. Yes, Come chef. On. I'm mixing, chef. Begin to plate your creation. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh. I'm so winning I this. I need more time to mix. Mix it. You're out of time. Mixing. You're out of time, Kellen. I'm off. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's so All sad. Right. Oh, man. What are you going to do? Five. Four, three, two, one, hands in the air, step away from the crafts. <sighs> Pinners, today we have a special celebrity guest judge, Trevor Blood, all the way from a little farmhouse in Iowa. He doesn't have Wi-Fi, and yet, through the graces of his uh, public library, he has managed to amass two million Pinterest followers, internationally renowned for his many DIY projects, and he's here today to judge your flubber. Allison, please make your way to the judge's table at this time. Careful. Careful. Crafts coming through, craft coming through, make way, crafting. Your grace. Today I have prepared for you some classic homemade flubber with a creative twist of pink glitter glue, commonly found in the Appalachian region. Enjoy. Thank you, Allison. Allison, I don't know what to think about this. This is utterly... Uh... much I'm at your service sir oh thank you <laughs> I am so relieved that Trevor liked my flubber I mean I've tried so hard and got so far and in the end it really does matter I mean I just I'm over the moon Kellen your craft please don't know how I can top that <laughs> I, I mean this is some homemade goop, uh, apparently called flubber. Uh, 
Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Uh, this is utter complete crap. <laughs> uh, I think it's clear that Allison has won. Oh, yes! Yes! In your face! I mean, wow. Wow. That was a good fight. Could have a good fight. Better luck. Better luck next time. Allison, do you now move on to round two? Kellen, please turn on your apron. Congratulations. It's been a pleasure. Always good to see your work. Oh, thank you, Sarah. You just don't know how much this means to me. <laughs>
you kidding me? She told me to get here early to help her. Melanie, how can you not hear me? I'm so loud. My turkey is going to burn. This is why we're not friends. Hello? I'm over here in the garage where the car is. Well, let me try to call her. So dumb, I have better places to be. Whatever. Last time I help her. day and my turkey's gonna burn. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna rob you. What? No, Brian. What the heck? I trusted you. I'm gonna take your turkey too. No, mom, my turkey. I've been sleeping all day. I raised that turkey myself and then too I late. slaughtered it and then I slept all day over the stove. Oh. That was the best turkey I've ever made in years! Oh my god! Hello? Jordan, I'm talking to you. It doesn't even matter, just let me out. I'm gonna die in here. No, not until you let your attitude die. You're gonna be in so much trouble mom and dad get home. Are you dumb? Remember we rescheduled to have Thanksgiving dinner at Uncle Pablo's house? Oh my gosh, are you serious? I completely forgot. Uncle Pablo's gonna be so mad at me. I killed that turkey for no reason. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Um, I'm gonna go to Uncle Pablo's now and I'll text you when I get there. No, my phone's inside. I would have called you if I had my phone. Just let me out. Nope, that's what you get for kissing my boyfriend. That wasn't me. Um, yes it was. I know what I look like. We're twins. Okay, well, doesn't matter. Just let me out, please. Happy Thanksgiving, sister. Bye. No!